and I'm here in California at the Santa Monica Pier and I thought, Pier Beach Aquamarine. So today I'm going to show you how to get this Aquamarine makeup, hair, and outfit. And if you on watching, you might see me in my natural state. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like mermaids. Sorry about the wind and let's get started. <laughs> This makeup is pretty minimal. I'm starting with one of my favorite moisturizers. This is the Biotherm Aquasource Ever Plump. Feels amazing on the skin. And then I'm going in with the BB cream and I've added just a little bit of Drops of Sun by The Body Shop. This adds in just a little bit of natural color and I'm using a beauty sponge and applying this all over the skin. Keep the coverage sheer if you can, and I needed a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes, so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This one is great and it smells really good, like coconuts, so I thought it kind of fit the theme. And then I'm going in with Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Fresh Pink. This is easiest to apply with your fingertips, and I'm just dabbing it along the cheeks and upwards for a fresh look. was out in the sun so we gotta have a little bit of a sun-kissed look. I'm taking one of my favorite bronzers from Too Faced. Honestly I have every single bronzer from Too Faced and I love them all and I'm just applying this to the forehead, underneath the cheekbones, a little bit under the jawline. I really don't want to have a harsh contour or anything. I'm just adding a little bit of shape to the face and then I'm taking it and I'm freckling it along my nose bridge and just all over the face a little bit to make sure that I have some color. Then I'm going in with Anastasia Cream Contour and I took the darkest shade on a tiny brush and I'm just adding a tiny bit of freckles. This is completely optional. In the later scenes I have tons of freckles because I just was having fun with it but this just makes it look a little bit more natural like you're not wearing as much foundation when you have some natural speckles coming through even though we've drawn them on. Finally Aqua had a little bit of a glow going on so I went with Champagne Pop Pop <laughs> by Becca Cosmetics. This is the best highlighter. I love it so I'm applying it to the cheekbones, to the nose, and to Cupid's bow a little bit. Then straight on to brows, I'm using one of my favorites. This is Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner, and mine's in universal medium because I'm a brunette, but you could go in with a taupe shade if you're blonde and just fill them in so that they're full and not sparse, but you still want to keep them natural. Shadow time. So usually I use Urban Decay Primer Potion, but today I'm using a Maybelline Color Tattoo to prime my lids and to have a little bit of a base. I like the texture of this. It helps make the shadow pop a little. And then I'm going in with this peachy kind of champagne shade all over the lid, nothing too bold. And then to deepen it up and add some dimension, I'm going in with more of a orangey coppery shade on the outer corners of the eye. And into the crease, I'm using Puppy by Stila, which is just a matte, medium tone brown, and this will help give a tiny bit of dimension to the eye. I like to make mine look a little more deep set than they are, and just help blend out the shadows. On the brow bone, I'm going in with an iridescent highlight, and now it's time for some liner. It looked like Aqua had a little bit of purple, so we're going in with this one by CoverGirl, and applying it along the lash line. You can use a liquid liner if you want to, but hers just looked really soft and pretty, so I'm just dragging it along and then blending it outwards for a really wearable pop of color. So we're just keeping it soft and pretty, and here's a little more color. So I took a shadow from the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, that is this greeny, tealy shade, and I'm applying it to the waterline. I just made it a little bit easier to work with with MAC. Fix Plus so that it wasn't too powdery. You can use a liner, there's tons of shades like this. I just had this one and I thought it was a great color. And Aquas just looked really subtle, so I thought a shadow was a good idea rather than a really intense liner. I'm bringing it a little bit under my lash line and then adding a little pop of blue just so there's some variation. Then I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. You can use just black mascara, but I looked really close and it looked like she had some blue or purple mascara. So on top, I'm using a blue colored mascara, and on the bottom, I'm using a little bit of purple. 
This isn't too dramatic, you can only tell if you're looking really closely, so if you want a bolder option, you can go in with this NYX liner and kind of paint your lashes and you'll get a very electric look, which I was wearing in another portion of the video, so there's lots of options there. Let me know which look you like better, the subtle color or the pop of blue. Moving on to lips, I went in with Boldly Bare, just subtly defined my lip line, and then I'm using Taffy for a pretty pink. Then on top, I'm using one of my favorite lip glosses. Well, this is a lip balm, but it has kind of a glossy feel. Super comfortable, very moisturizing, and has the most mer mermaid <laughs> packaging ever, so I thought it worked really well with this tutorial. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. And now moving on to different ways that you can wear a dress inspired by the movie. So here we are at the Santa Monica Pier in California, and this dress is inspired by Aquamarine. I got this off lulus.com, and what's really cool about this dress is it has so much extra material, so you can do tons of different styles like the movie. So instead of the long sleeve, you actually have more material to work with, and you can do a ton of different styles. This was originally a maxi dress, and my mom cut it. We just cut it with scissors, but we were so careful to make it a straight line. And this is one of the ways I like to wear it, but I will have some different ways to tie it, inspired by the movie coming up. Having a little Marilyn moment here because it was a little bit windy, but I paired this look with one of my favorite pairs of Kate Spade Keds. I have these starfish earrings that I got actually as a present, but I will have a link down below to a similar set. And then this necklace I actually got when I was vintage shopping, and then I painted the stone to make it white like aquamarines. And this is the completed look. It's so cute, very easy to wear and comfortable. And now I'm gonna show you some different ways to tie it. So here are some ideas with tying this dress. The first one, I just have it as a halter and then I've taken the extra fabric and wrapped it around my waist and then tied it at the back. This next one is more like the movie. So I've taken one of the sides, spread it out and wrapped it around my entire boob area. And then I've just taken the two sides and crossed them in a forward halter and then tied it at the back. I did the boob covering part off camera just because it's a little inappropriate. I should have worn like a bralette, but it's pretty easy to figure out. And then for this next one, I'm just undoing one of the sides and creating an off the shoulder look like Aqua wears when she's off shopping with the girls, creating a bow and it's quite a bit of material. So I like to toss it a little bit to the back of my shoulder. And here I have the dress styled in a bandeau type of look and then just taken the extra fabric and wrapped it around and tied at the back again. So I hope you like some of those styles and uh, yeah, I have a, I'll have a link down below. I saw a little girl who did a tutorial with the actual like long sleeve and I thought it was really cute. So I'll have that link down below. But if there's one thing that I learned from Aquamarine, if you have boy troubles, all you need is some ice cream and some shopping therapy. So here's me doing that. <laughs> Raymond. I found two new men to love. Their names are Ben and Jerry. <laughs> So growing up, I think we all had an extreme crush. Mine was Jessie, everybody loved Jessie in elementary school, and this amazing tail is from Fin Fun Mermaid. I have an orange tail as well from last year because I did a H2O look, so if you haven't seen that, I'll have that linked in the down bar, but keep watching if you want to see this tail in action. Here I am shopping for the last splash. I gotta pick out a good dress. So the one I'm actually wearing is from uh, Santa Monica. I'll have the store name. It was just a local boutique there, but it's seahorses, thought it was really fitting. And I am just popping in a pair of extensions. I just use one four clip weft of Bellamy dark brown extensions in 22 inches. And then I'm popping in some blonde extensions that I colored blue but I didn't use permanent dye so they don't have the best texture because I just did this really quickly but an easier way to add some blue is to use this little product right here you can get this at trade secrets and you just apply it by painting it into your hair that's what I was wearing in the earlier scenes and it really stood out in my dark hair but it doesn't come with a lot so you want to be a little bit sparing with it <laughs> and the crimper I am using is by Numi I'll have a link down below to it and I love how this looks to make sure that they the waves stand out. I used a bit of this sea salt spray and I found that it really separated them and it looked beachy and I really love this look. After 
a little bit more of the sea salt spray, I'm just adding in that blue that I talked about before, and I was running low so I didn't do it as heavy because I wanted to save a little bit, but it looks really pretty and it's very easy to wash out. Here I'm just deepening my makeup a little bit, and there's the completed last splash look. This dress, if you recognize it, is what I wore to grade 12 prom, if you've stuck with me for a long time, and it's actually my sister's dress, and it's one of my favorite dresses ever. This is from a store in Toronto, but there was only one of it, so you can't find it anymore but check like H&M if you're looking for something similar to her dress and finally let's get a good look at this mermaid tail I love mermaid tails this one is from finfunmermaid.com and it's a new shade works perfect for this aquamarine look and it's a great ab workout I love swimming in the mermaid tail the mono fin really propels you through the water and thank you to Julia for helping me film this and shout out to Megan and Tommy who are in the pool with me <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I loved making it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if aquamarine was part of your childhood because Sarah Paxton was like my beauty icon growing up I was obsessed with her and I remember in grade 4 a guy said I looked like her and I really really didn't but I held on to that compliment like with my dear life I loved her so much and I still do so let's tweet this to Sarah Paxton and she'll see how much we love her as aquamarine and I really hope you enjoyed seeing me butcher some of her scenes but you don't love me because I'm not an actress, I just did that for fun. <laughs> and if you want to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, my links are all down below as well as all the products used. And I will see you guys in my next video. I don't want